All right, well, we're looking at another word problem where we have to make an equation uh, where we have to find the unit rate or the slope, and then we also have to find the y-intercept or the uh, initial value. If you need to know the setup and how we figure that out, uh, I posted an earlier video that you can check out, uh, but this is one where we're going to go kind of quicker into how we find uh, the slope and the, the rate of the rate of change for as far as uh, things that we're purchasing and then initial values. So we're going to go through this kind of quickly. Jessica wants to rent a boat. The rental shop charges an initial fee. That looks like important numbers. Of fifteen dollars plus twelve dollars per hour. Remember the word per is important. All right, to rent a boat. All right, so with that information, let's go ahead and make our equation. We know that the equation starts off with y equals mx plus b. Again, m is our slope or our rate. Is there a rate that they gave us? It looks like they gave us twelve dollars per hour. Remember the word per gives us the indication that it's going to be a rate. So I'm going to write twelve x because again, I don't know how many hours I've taken out the boat. And then plus B, the initial fee, or again, the Y-intercept. Is there something that we started off with? It's at $15 just to take the boat out. So we'll start with this equation, Y equals 12X plus 15. The first question asks us, if the total cost was $99, total cost. So remember, we deal with money. Money always goes on top on our slope. Y is always on top, so money is Y. The total cost is $99, meaning I'm going to plug 99. Let's write it over here, actually. Uh, we want to write $99 for Y, 12X plus 15. So it's going to ask us, how many hours was the boat rented? Again, hours would be X. So we're going to find out what X equals this time. So in order to solve, we've got to subtract 15 from both sides. And that's going to give us 84 equals 12x, divide by 12, and we're going to get an answer of 7 equals x, but again, what does x represent? That represents hours. So 7 hours is how long I rented the boat for, for $99. Alright, then we're going to do a second question, because we answered the first one. The second one asks, if she rented the boat for 6 hours, meaning we know how many hours we took it out, what is the total cost? Remember, we just talked about it. Six hours is what X is going to be this time. So Y equals 12 times 6 plus 15. And then we're trying to figure out the cost, which again, cost or money is Y. So Y equals 12 times 6, which is 72. 72 plus 15 is going to give me Y equals 87. And remember, what do these units mean? 87 what? Again, Y was money, so it's going to be $87. All right, and the last one we're going to go over together is number three. So number three, Miami wants to rent a boat. So many people want to rent boats today. The rental shop charges an initial, initial fee of $14. Plus the $20 per hour, the word per is important, to rent the boat. So in this case, my equation, again, we always start off with y equals mx plus b. m is my slope or my rate that they give me. The rate they gave me is $20 per hour. So I'm going to write y equals 20x, because again, I don't know how many hours they've given it to me yet. Initial fee, again, my starting place, my y-intercept, they say it costs $14 just to rent the boat. All right, so that's my starting information. Now let's go to my first question. My first question tells me if the total cost was $160, and remember money is Y, because on my slope Y always goes on top, and on my rates money always goes on top, so let's go ahead and put our money in for Y, so $160, oops, excuse me, so again we know that it's going to cost $160, and we want to know how many hours was the boat rented for. So, to get x by itself, we need to subtract 14. 160 minus 14 gives me 144. Excuse me, 146 equals 20. And then to get x by itself, we divide by 20. And that's going to give me x equals 146 divided by 20. I need a calculator for that. And we're going to get 
But again, 7.3 watts. X is going to be hours or time, so 7.3 hours is how long I had the boat on the water. All right, the next thing we're going to figure out is uh, the second question, which tells me that if she rented the boat for four hours, so this time we know the time, four hours, so that gets plugged in for X this time, so 20 times 4 plus 14, what was the total cost of renting the boat? So total cost or money is Y. All right, so 20 times 4 equals 80, and 80 plus 14 equals 94. And 94 what? We just talked about it. Money is Y, and it's always on top on our slope, so it's going to be $94. So that is how we set up an equation. Remember, M is our rate. We want to put, plug the rate in for M, our, our slope. And then our initial fee or any additional cost uh, that oh, we buy only a single of or it's like a one-time charge, that goes what goes in for B. All right, that's how we do it.